Hello goat lovers, this is Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and we need to get the bucks, bucks hooves trimmed. So we thought we would show you guys um, maybe just some tips and how to handle them because bucks can be a little bit more unruly than the does obviously. So, lucky here, as you guys saw, I just grabbed him, and he's he's a bottle baby. He was a bottle baby, and you know, very nice, very tame, all things considered for a buck. So he's a lot easier to handle than my other buck. Um, but you still saw that he did not want to go on the stand. They kind of want to do whatever they want to do. So, I tricked him with the scratch. If you guys saw how I got him up on the stand. Of course, it didn't go seamless, but I got him there. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to trim a buck's hook. So for starters, you wanna get all the dirt and or mud, poop. Clean that out so you can see what you're working with. And you're just looking to get the excess off at first. Just a little bit at a time. And try to avoid going too far. So if you just take little bits at a time, it makes it a lot better. All right, boy. All right, perfect. So you're looking to get all the excess. You can take a little bit of the frog or the pad um, if it's uneven or sometimes their heels will just get a little overgrown. So you can take a little bit of the heel too. You're wanting a flat base for them to stand on there. So when you're working with the back feet, bucks are a lot worse than the does as far as wanting to drop. Like you even come near them, look at them. They're like, no. Um, but anyway, you don't want them to kick you. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. So what I do is put my elbow right there in the back of their uh, leg and pull their leg out. 
and they are very strong so keeping that in mind just be very mindful um, if they do start kicking you want to drop those and just hang on tight don't let them think they want so again just gonna try to get all the dirt out of them first as much as possible these guys have been standing in some mud we've had some pretty darn wet weather for the week last week so All right, so I'm just gonna get his other two hooves and then I'll show you the other buck who is not as well behaved. So now I'm gonna try to catch this boy who's lucky he's pretty, but he uh, was not a bottle baby, so he's not nearly as tame as Lucky was. Quite a bit more unruly, if you will. So hopefully I can catch him on my own. I might need my husband. I'm gonna make my husband get him. Ooh. Hi, Jim. Come on, boy. Come on, buddy. Come on. We're almost there. There we go. Alright, so as far as trimming hooves, it's going to be the same thing. The hard part is getting them up here. Once they're in the milk stand, then pretty much they're just stuck there.
All right, so one hoof in and he's already getting all fancy feet and impatient with me. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and get him done real quick. Um, same thing for the back. This guy does like to kick more than lucky, so hopefully he won't. So again, put your elbow right there in their back end. Hold her leg out. Make sure you're holding it strong. It's all right, dude. It's important not to let them win. I know I'm hurrying. Alright, he's getting really antsy. I'm gonna have my son give him a little more uh, cracked corn. It's like crack. Alright, off to the other one. That can get scary because now this foot can kick me. Because it's in my back now. So. Until he's done. Hmm. We're almost done. Hold on, buddy. <laughs> Josh. All right, so I'm gonna get his last hoof while he's still standing here for me. Um, Maybe give him a little more scratch. So always use scratch. It gives you time, it buys time for you um, and keeps them a little calmer. It helps coerce them onto the stand. And don't neglect your bucks. Um, they're not always the funnest thing or the best smelling thing to handle, but they do need care just as much as the does do. So I hope this video helped um, and just gave you a couple tips as far as how to get them on the stand and, and how to handle them, if you will, if they're going to kick and whatnot when you're trimming their hooves. So I will have these hoof trimmers in the link below, um, in the description below. So you can click on that link and purchase them there, the exact type that I use. They work great. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh!